Hey, this is Kale the Quick with an update for Aegis Online, the virtual dungeon or virtual tabletop, and now we're on beta version 4.0. Now the first change you might notice is that at the top there used to be one big long bar, and now it's been replaced by four smaller ones. And if you hover over the buttons, you'll see some tool tips and hear a little sound. Now we're still dialing in the exact sound level, and if you want, you can turn them off I'm going to Options, Audio, and the UI volume right at the bottom. And they are a bit loud, so I'm going to turn them down to about half volume there. And we'll go Mac and here. So let's check out the new UI from the top right. Now, first we have the Player Wisp settings. And we click that open, and we're able to change my name, and we can also change the color of my Wisp. Let's change it from a purple over to a red. Make it a little bit brighter there. And then we just click that again, close that, and you'll see that my Wisp, which uh, now looks nicer, has a uh, changed color. And one of the things we've managed to do is make the look of the Wisp more consistent throughout the various graphic settings. Uh, previously on very low graphic settings, it was just kind of a white streak. And now your color will always show up. And you'll also be able to see your Wisp and all the other players' Wisps through walls. Jumping on to the next thing right here, we have this little button, which used to be how you'd make a dummy for the initiative tracker. And now we have it set to goblins and we can pick a color. Let's go with a little bit darker green there. Close that, and then press the plus icon to make goblins. And let's make another one for our other character, call him J, or not Jat, J. And let's click that and select a kind of a bluish tint for J. And just hit plus, little moves, and we're good. Now the initial tracker, it's very nice. You can actually just drag and reorder. Very easy to keep track of whose turn it is and the order of who needs to go. And we'll just click that and close it. And the next thing is this ranch icon right here. If we hover over that, it says switch to edit mode. So we'll just click on that, which takes us into edit mode, and a drawer will come up from the bottom. And this is how we access all the items to click and drag them out into the world. It just outworked previously, but we do have a new mode where if you can double click, it'll take you into an item stamp mode, which will let you stamp down a bunch of items really quick. And of course, with everything else, as with everything else, uh, you can hold Z, X, or C to kind of snap your guy to everything. So you have Z for the corners, X for the centers, and then C for the edges there, which is useful for the wall tool, which we'll access in a second. Uh, but you can right click to get rid of that little preview there, and then everything goes back to normal. And uh, let's go back to items. We do have a approved search tag manager as well. Uh, let's see, uh, all the tags show up. So this one is built in and a dice, built in dice, uh, humanoid character. So let's do a quick search for humanoid and then just press enter. And then that's added as a tag there. So now everything with a tag of humanoid is up at front. This doesn't hide everything. You can still see stuff that doesn't have a humanoid tag, uh, but it does sort it so that if we have a humanoid, they'll all come up front. So if you have a bunch more items as we hope to have in the future, you'll be able to sort through them really, really quickly and find your relevant things. So let's select our humanoid. And we have our little preview and we can pop down a couple of them. Right click, go back to items. Let's try the fun skeleton right there as well. I'm gonna go back to the top right now. And we do have the wall tool and the grid tool as well, which is how you'll change the floor cells, recolor them. Uh, let's try for the wall tool right now. So we hold the Z to snap it to the edges or the corners of the grid, and we're able to make all kinds of stuff. Now you can set up a dungeon, and it does take a little while, but it is kind of fun to set up something nice. And with the map, that's the next button up here, we can actually load up a map. I'll double click on that. See the Ages Online logo pops up. And that is customizable. But uh, we can have pre made dungeons for everybody to use. And that will load for everybody who's coming in here. And another quick little feature that we have, uh, you'll notice I got a few dice right here that I don't want to mess with. So let's just clear that out. And we're in edit mode still. So if we're in play mode, uh, this doesn't work. We can still pick them up because I, I made them. But you'll notice that in edit mode, which we can switch to with a tab, as it says right there, we have the highlight hover so as we hover over it. And actually now, if we hold shift, we can select multiple items. Now you can still only pick up one at a time, but we may change that going forward. Maybe you'll move a whole group, a whole squad of items at the same time. Uh, but currently one of the functions that you can do when you have multiple ones selected is to just press delete, which makes it much 
much, much easier uh, to clean up after you, uh, well, after the player characters get through here. It's, it's going to be a mess. <laughs> we all know that. And uh, so you can also do clear map right here at the top as well. And then if you want to return back to the center of the map, press the home key on the keyboard and then tab again to bring us back to a nice, clean user interface. I'm Kale the Quick for Easter Egg Productions. Check out the description for links to our Facebook, Patreon, and instructions on how to request some Steam keys for you and your friends. Thanks for checking out Aegis Online Beta 4.0, and don't forget to stay safe. Bye.